Phil Gleed is the GE Healthcare Plant Manager here in Wauwatosa, and it's his responsibility to ensure that the right work protocols have been put in place under the global pandemic. That enables the ultrasound machines to keep rolling off the production lines and into the hands of the customers who are on the front lines. Hey, Mikey, how are you? Yeah, not too bad. Just going to keep my distance here. Um, yeah, perfect. I'm instantly noticed the uh, crosses on the floor. Yeah, absolutely. So that's, that's uh, one more way of reminding the team. Every morning we meet, we have a daily stand-up. So it's part of our daily management. So the X's are intended to uh, make sure folks keep social distance. And there's really three, three big things that we have to constantly stay on top of. One is social distance. Second is frequent hand washing. And third, at the start of each shift, at the end of each shift, we're wiping down all the equipment and all the work surfaces. What has it been like going from uh, a pre-COVID-19 pre work routine to some of the protocols that you're having to put in place now? Coming to work every day, there's up to 1,800 people that can be in this building. And right now, there's about 60 people coming to work every day. You know, mostly tied to the, the cleaning crew, security, maintenance, and of course, the, the individuals that work in the factory. That's a, that's a massive step down of numbers. It is, it is. It feels, I've told several people uh, over the last couple of weeks, it feels like it's Sunday morning and we're working overtime. How is the social distancing work, working, sort of, for example, on the plant floor? Yeah, you know, given the nature of our operation, our technicians are pretty well spaced out, but we do have to continue to remind folks around social distancing. It's, it's, it's not normal. It's somewhat awkward at times, standing you know, away from somebody, having a conversation. But uh, I, I think it's working quite well. You've got many, many plants all over the world. Um, there has to be some form of consistency, I'm assuming. Some plants will be in different countries that have different cultures. Are you playing it on a test by trial basis? We have um, just about a daily call with all the plants in the United States as well as Mexico. Uh, we have our, our supply chain leaders, our EHS leaders, all the plant leaders are on this call. And uh, we're, we're learning from each other. This thing has been very dynamic, of course. Things are changing sometimes daily. So um, to be able to bring that group together to learn and implement the different protocols as this thing evolves has been tremendously helpful. We actually have a procedure, last I checked, it's about 26, 27 pages just around COVID safety for all the plants. You know, we, we make medical products and I'm always incredibly proud that what we do together helps people. And in times like this, uh, just, it really hits home. If you had a message for your team, what would it be? Uh, I, I think first and foremost, it's, it's, it's thank you. You know, thank you for continuing to come to work. You know, there's some signs up, and I saw one outside. I think it was the, the Waukesha facility, a GE Healthcare sign, as you enter into the parking lot, and it said, heroes work here. And uh, I think it says a ton that people are, you know, whether you work in a hospital, a clinic, a grocery store, or you make medical products, you know, I'm just extremely appreciative that my team continues to come to work every day. These crosses yes. uh, I've actually been using to keep my decision <laughs> yeah. in this interview. Yeah. So whoever came up with that idea, that was a brilliant one. Um, really good to chat. I'll, yeah. uh, I'll say goodbye. Likewise, likewise. Thanks, Mikey. And uh, best of luck with it all. Yep, thank you much. All right, take care. Bye-bye.